What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip and today it's going to be the start of a brand new weekend, it's Saturday the 28th of January. And the closer we get to deadline day, the more rumours we'll have as well as the more confirmed transfers. Like today, we have got quite a lot to get through. But before we do get started, as always, if you show support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. And for the last time before deadline day, uh, can we try and smash 1,000 likes before 12pm UK time or four hours after this video goes live for the weekend challenge? If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. With your thoughts on today's rumours, rumours I should do in the next episode and if you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box. But now let's move on to confirmed transfers. And the very first player is a French man called Andy Delors and he's gone to Toulouse from Tigres in the Mexican League for an undisclosed fee and apparently he used to play for Wigan, I believe. Then we got on to the next player, Leandro Gonzalez Perez going to Atlanta United in the MLS now from Esta Duantes in Argentina for an undisclosed fee. And for a silver, I mean, if he had a bit more pace, he'd be usable, but other than that, it was pretty meh. Then we got on to Pablo, a Brazilian centre-back from Bordeaux, going to Corinthians, who right now aren't on FIFA Ultimate Team on loan deal for the rest of the season. Then we got on to Rui Silva, a Portuguese goalkeeper, going to Granada in Spain from Nacional in the Liga Nos, and the fee is something around £850,000. Then we go on to Cameron Brannigan, a Liverpool youngster, going out on loan to Fleetwood Town for the rest of the season, and hopefully he does very well for himself. Then we move on to Alex Ferrari, great name right there, going to uh, Hellas Verona from Bologna. And that is also a loan deal. Then we go on to Kevin Molino, going to Minnesota United, just at Atlanta United, a new franchise for the MLS. That is from Orlando City for £510,000 or part of the trade. Then we go on to Florian Joseph Zoon, going to Brentford from PSV uh, for a fee. Uh, it's undisclosed right now, but apparently, not quite sure I said apparently, because I have no idea how much it is and I haven't seen it anywhere. Then we move on to Anthony Munier going to St Etienne from Bologna. And like most of these transfers so far, that is also a loan deal. Moving on, we go on to Hassan Gnokori going to Udinese from Inter Milan again on a loan transfer. I'm pretty certain I just butchered that name completely. Then we move on to Alex Moa going to Barnsley from Leeds United on undisclosed fee again. Uh, Grenier has gone to Roma from Lyon with the option to buy for 3.5 million euros in the summer. And the loan with the option to buy definitely is catching on now to most countries. Of course, Italy, they've been doing it for quite a while, but now a few Premier League clubs are doing it as well, um, especially when buying from Italy itself. Then we got on to Robert Snodgrass, going to West Ham United from Hull City for £7 million, rising to £10 million after some additional fees. Then we got on to Joe Gomez getting a new contract at Liverpool until 2022, so a five-year deal, but that comes into play this summer. Then we got to Jan Sommer also getting a contract at Borussia Mönchengladbach until 2021. And the final confirmed transfer today is going to the Chilean centre forward Eduardo Vargas going to Tigres in Mexico from Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga for an undisclosed fee. And now we go on to potential transfers and the very first player is Anwar El Ghazi going to Lille in France from Ajax. El Ghazi is currently in the process of completing his medical. The transfer was completed largely due to the work of his agent, George Mendes. The player will have a four-year contract worth 1.4 million per year and his former team, Ajax, will receive 8 million pounds. Or it may be 8 million euros because this article is taken from Damasio and then translated. Next up, the next player is going to be Ravel Morrison linked to QPR. Sky sources understand QPR have inquired about Lazio winger Ravel Morrison. He's currently training with QPR to keep up his fitness levels and has two and a half years left on his current contract at Lazio. I did see something the other day saying he could be leaving Lazio and was also linked, I believe, to, uh, I think it was Wigan. Now we go on to the next player and that is Alexandra Pato linked to move to China. Pato is very close to joining Tianjin Quanjian from Villarreal. The deal for the striker is down to the final details and the fee for Pato is around 18 million euros. He will earn five to six million euros in wages and Pato will go to China to play for Fabio Cannavaro and join fellow coup from the European leagues, Axel Witzel. And I really hope on FIFA 18 we get the Chinese Super League because there's so many big names going over there now and it could be like missing out a lot of players if it's not on there. Now we go on to the next player, Patrick van Arnhol going to Crystal Palace. Sky sources understand Crystal Palace have agreed a £14 million fee with Sunderland for Patrick van Arnhol. The Dutch international handed a transfer request to Sunderland and will have a medical in London. Sunderland chief executive Martin Bain has told Sky Sports News if a player openly states he does not want to play for a club, it is clear that we have a decision to make. In this instance and in regards to this particular player, we've done what we feel is right for Sunderland, which will always be our priority. They are apparently getting Contento from Bordeaux in as a replacement for Van Aanholt. 
Now moving on to the next player, and that is going to be Leon Bailey, the Jamaican, into Bayer Leverkusen. A couple of days ago, I did say how Bayer Leverkusen are in for him, and there are now official pictures showing him in a Leverkusen. And on their official Twitter account yesterday, their manager, Roger Schmidt, did say, Leon Bailey is completing his medical check. The likelihood that he'll play for us is high. And again, like I mentioned the other day, could well have an impact on the future of Julian Brandt and Potenci uh, coming to the Premier League, maybe. Now we go on to the next one, and that is Lucas Ocampos, a Argentine linked to Milan. Ocampos is now one step away from becoming a Milan player. The Argentine will arrive in Milan on a straight-up loan deal. Milan are now waiting on the formal approval from the French side Marseille for the loan to go ahead. Agreements with Genoa, the agent, and the player have already been made. The option to buy that could become obligation depending on goals scored remain in Genoa's hands, and good relations between the two Italian clubs may lead to a change in conditions in the future. But some good performances at Milan from Ocampos could well lead to a permanent stay. So for now, let's say he will be joining Milan in the next couple of days, may even be today. And now an update regarding Malo Gabbiadini's move or potential move to the Premier League with Southampton. So Sky Italia have said that Napoli have turned down the latest offer of £13.5 million plus £3 million in additional fees from Southampton for Malo Gabbiadini. And Napoli are holding out still for £17 million straight up. And now a brief update regarding Igalo and his future currently at Watford. So Mazzari, the manager, has been quoted as saying, I have just heard now there's a very important offer which we are currently evaluating. He was then asked if the offer was from China. He said, I don't like to say all the details, but there is more than one offer. This one might also be from China. So kind of giving a little bit of a hint. Next up is one linked to Juventus, and that is going to be the Swede, uh, Robin Quisson. I definitely said that wrong. And um, by the way, today, after signing Rincon and Caldara, Juventus continue to be active in the January window. Juve have set their sights on the Swede because he does currently have an expiring contract, which uh, I think runs out this summer. And apparently today, Juventus will have a conversation with Empoli as they would like to send the Swedish international to the Tuscan club to finish the season. It does still remain to be seen though if Palermo will accept the deal, even though they risk losing the player on a free in the summer window. And he's also Real's car to potentially have to link up Dybala and also Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now we move on to Dimitri Payet, an update again, as we seem to be getting Pratch every single day. So Sky sources understand a CD involved in the negotiations between West Ham and Marseille for Dimitri Payet, so the deal is still miles away. Marseille have been hoping that West Ham signing Snodgrass today would open the door for Dimitri Payet to leave. But there has still not been a breakthrough in negotiations as far as yesterday, and West Ham still won at least £30 million, and Marseille have indicated they will not pay anything more than 25 Marseille also want the deal to be differently structured to how West Ham do want it, so again, it's another stumbling block in trying to get into the club. And Sky did say as long as the window is open, it's possible the deal will be done, but the moment is still miles away. Payet has been training with the under 23s, but there's a rumor going around yesterday saying that he's apparently now refusing to train with a reserve team. And now we move on to Ivan Rakitic. And according to the Manchester Even News today, Manchester City have been encouraging the pursuit of Barca midfielder Rakitic. Reports say the midfielder is one of several players to be sacrificed to keep Lionel Messi at Barca and fund his new contract. So I think yesterday or the day before that, uh, Rakitic did come out and say he's very much happy at Barca and wants to retire there potentially. So it could well be a bit of a BS rumour, we'll have to just wait and see. Now we go on to a strange one, Cristiano Ronaldo linked to Inter Milan, but it's to do with an international teammate of his trying to convince him to join the same club. So Joao Mario is trying to convince his Portugal teammate Cristiano Ronaldo to join him at Inter Milan. The 24-year-old joined Inter from Sporting in the summer and hopes Ronaldo could leave Real Madrid to do the same. The quote says, Portugal have a lot of quality, but Cristiano Ronaldo is obviously our talisman, our most important player. I'm trying to talk him into joining me at Inter. Let's just say it's very, very difficult. He's not just a teammate, also a good friend, a good person, and a born leader. He's a great guy who cares about everyone. And now the final one today is Anthony Martial, who featured yesterday, in fact, with a move, a potential loan move to Sevilla. So uh, last couple of games, he has been left out of the current squad, uh, I think it was against Stoke City and Hull City. There's been some speculation regarding his future, and yesterday, Mourinho did say he's been given a break, basically. Um, but now, it's something different than Mourinho said. Well, the article does say Jose Mourinho is unhappy with Martial and the forward's future at Manchester United beyond the summer is uncertain. And that is according to Sky Sources. And remember, United right now are currently linked to Griezmann in the summer or will be linked to Griezmann and um, with a potential move for him. So attacking positions, they are filling up quite quickly. Although Martial is understood to be happy at Old Trafford and doesn't want to leave the club at this point in time. Right then guys, that's going to be the end of the video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and in the comments below. Give me your thoughts on today's rumours, rumours I should do in the next episode. And if you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video. 
and I'll see you next time.